third novel is a crime novel set in present-day Kansas City, Missouri that combines a terrorist plot against the Midwest and a retired detective's obsession with an unsolved murder from his past. I've been blessed with four creative periods in Fulton, 1970 to 74, in Soulard, 1974 to 75, in University City from 1975 through 1980, and in Kansas City during the years of my marriage and family life, 1983 through 1995. I'd moved to Kansas City in 1981. Charlie Parker's bebop jazz had convinced me that Kansas City would be an ideal place for a creative writer to work. By happenstance, I arrived the day the Skywalks collapsed at the Hyatt Regency Hotel with its train of death, maiming, and PTSD, a compact portent of September 11, 2001. I was 30 years old when I moved here, and in the 33 years since, I've seen Kansas City undergo many changes from amiable, sprawling, small town to full-grown metropolis an entrepreneurial mecca. From the violent death of the River Key Entertainment District and the decapitated head of Baby Doe, to the Power and Light and Crossroads Arts Districts, the Roman Colosseum of the Sprint Center, and the opulent Kaufman Center for the Performing Arts. Though it still retains some of its vestige of folksy small town identity that veteran broadcaster Walt Bodine uh, touted, Kansas City is succumbing to the workaholic, 24-7, straight-jacketed persona of LA, NYC, and Boston. It's been a busy year for me. I've got a new novel out to an East Coast publisher, and a collection of short stories in a major short fiction competition. A number of essays, stories, and poems are at journals and magazines, both print and online. I set aside three novel projects to write Sinister Dynamic, novels I've worked at for an average of 15 years each. I'll tell you more about them tomorrow. <laughs>